generational investment, a generational investment to modernize our infrastructure. see it exactly like something went wrong. Uh, how we see it is we set a bold, ambitious goal, something the president has done from the very beginning. And uh, we are expected to meet that goal uh, just a couple weeks after July 4th. And in fact, at this point, as of today, we're going to be already at that point for people who are 30 years of age and older. Uh, what we also know, though, and we've learned this as we've been uh, working to get the pandemic under control, take on this Herculean task where there is no playbook, is that uh, there, are, there are demographic groups and sometimes uh, populations where it's more difficult to reach. We, we've seen that and we've talked about that as it related to uh, early on to uh, hesitancy we were seeing in communities of color or some more conservative communities. And we've seen it's been a, a great deal more difficult uh, to, get, uh, to get young people between the ages of 18 and 26 vaccinated than adults who are older than that. Hence, uh, we are redoubling our efforts. If you are not vaccinated, you are at considerable risk. When you have such a low level of vaccination superimposed upon a variant that has a high degree of efficiency of spread, what you are gonna see among under vaccinated regions, be they states, cities, or counties, you're gonna see these individual types of blips. It's almost like it's gonna be two Americas. If you have been vaccinated, the message we're conveying is you're safe. These, event, these uh, vaccines are effective. Um, and that is something we want to be very clear with the public about. Uh, certainly, it's up to individuals. If you are not yet vaccinated, you are not safe and protected. That's why you should go get vaccinated. Uh, it's not more complicated than that in some regards, but it's important to note that the vaccines that have been approved here, uh, our public health officials have been out there conveying that they're safe and effective. We certainly feel comfortable and confident in moving forward with our event here at the White House and in individuals having barbecues in their backyards uh, this weekend uh, to celebrate uh, the 4th of July and America's birthday. Yeah.